Hello everybody, Sarah Boone's trial starts October 14th and I decided I wanted to check the letter where she wrote to the current judge. Uh, the last correspondence, which was June 2024, I thought it would be interesting to look at her tone and her behavior, her personality, because this is the judge that is going to rule on the motions in favor or against Sarah's case. And it is always interesting to see how people perceive one another uh, good rule of thumb if you need something from somebody else it would probably be nice to be nice to them respectful you know if that's not in your nature it's usually good to be nice and respectful anyway in life but for sarah who is constantly complaining about somebody else it's really tough so even if she had to pretend it would be nice for her to be nice to the judge but I don't think that's what we're going to see here. This letter is 58 pages long. I don't know if we're going to do it all in one video, but I wanted to share with you guys because it's absolutely insanity to write 58 pages of a letter uh, to anyone for that matter, right? So here is the hand-delivered note. Uh, and this is right before Sarah got her current attorney. So here's all the information. Honorable Judge Kranick, ongoing five years. Why can't I, one, use my constitutional rights? Am I the only one who cares about the ongoing violations of having a bond uh, because you uh, murdered somebody and they might not want to give you a bond uh, on certain cases and scenarios? They don't have to. Uh, okay, why can't I have all my medical records, have all my digital evidence and discovery? Well, because if you were representing yourself, it's not really uh, guaranteed that it's going to be digital, right? They had some back and forth on that. Sometimes she was getting some paperwork, sometimes it was digital. And then when she got it digital, she had to complain because it wasn't the full digital uh, documents anyways. Um, why can't I have all my paperwork, notes, letters, pictures, everything of mine returned by former attorney? Why can't I speak to my investigator? Why can't I have a complete download of my phone? Why can't I have any of my witness lists? Why can't I have give any insights, understanding, clarification, truths about my case, especially to my attorney? Uh, why can't you have any insights? That's because you lack insights. You lack the ability of self-awareness of understanding things. Why can't you have understanding? Well, honey, that's something, you know, some people understand, some people don't understand. Why can't you have clarification? You did. How many times did they clarify everything for you? Why can't I be listened to by anyone, especially my attorney? Why can't I be respected? for who I am truly <laughs> guys this is delusional behavior if I've ever seen it why can't I be respected by anyone maybe because you are narcissistic borderline nightmare that complains about everything and everyone and asks for everything and everything and even when people give you what you want, you continue to complain. Maybe nobody wants to be close to you because this is what you are without alcohol. When you were drunk outside of the jail, maybe you were more bearable, but now without the alcohol, you are a nightmare. We can see your true colors. And maybe that's why nobody respects you, right? That's what she's saying here. Me, uh, why can't I be respected for who I am actually, truly? Because who you are in your mind is not the reality, Sarah. Okay, you were cruel when you left George in a suitcase and you started laughing at him. And people see that and they don't like that. They don't like that type of behavior. So that's why they can't respect you for who you truly believe you are. Okay. Uh, why can't I be treated Okay, wait, wait, wait. Why can't I be respected for who I am truly, especially by my attorney, and not be disrespected for the... Uh, I don't know what that word is. Malicious 
murderer. All murderer is in parentheses here. Uh, when you murder somebody, yes, you are called a murderer, right? Uh, all the world has, all the world has falsely and incorrectly, which are synonyms, right? Falsely and incorrectly, well, almost synonyms, uh, created and believed me to be. So one thing Sarah does a lot is she repeats words. Uh, she repeats to try to emphasize. She adds more words than that phrase needs. So she'll be like, why are they falsely and incorrectly labeling me as a murderer? Well, Sarah, there's a video of you murdering your ex-boyfriend and you were laughing while you were leaving the, him there, even though he said, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't breathe. And you kept saying, that's what you get. That's what you get. So when people watch that, Sarah, they call you a murderer. Yeah, not a murderer. They call you a murderer, a suitcase killer. That's what they call you. Uh, and that's why. Why can't I be treated fairly lawfully and be protected by the justice system? So justice is in parentheses and system is in parentheses. So why can't I be treated fairly by the justice and system? So you don't even know if it's a system. <laughs> you should have just gone justice system right because the system being in parentheses doesn't make any sense for your emphasis here so then let's go to page two uh wait let me see oh no uh prop why can't i properly rightfully completely that's 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 what i was talking about properly rightfully completely defend myself because your case is really weak your defense is really weak because what you did is on camera. Why can't I see all and know the same as the world can and does, including my attorney, from all the phenomenal, non-permissive amount of my entire case being available online, globally, before my trial, and most important, before I have even seen myself? Who doesn't anyone know? What doesn't anyone know already about my case? How about my side and everything? About everything. How about my side in everything about everything? <laughs> what the world knows about my case. Um, okay, so now this is just the why can't I? That's her question. Why can't I? Now we're going to go, so this is why can't I, and then she has all these bullet points we just read. Now it's another, another question. Why won't my attorney, okay, give me an honest answer? Show me everything she says she has and finished reviewing for my case. But without whom? Without, but withholds from me after I ask repeatedly for and about. Okay, why won't my attorney give me an answer other than I'm putting this, I'm putting this, uh, or I don't know what, what it says here. I'm putting this, that's not necessary, or I'm not having this conversation with you. <laughs> it's like a child. It's like a child. Uh, why doesn't anybody believe me, judge? Can you ask me why doesn't my attorney answer me honestly and completely and pass and like forwardly? Uh, why doesn't anyone believe me? Judge, can you, this letter is for you, judge. Can you like answer me those questions? Uh, why won't my attorney grant me access to anything I ask her for in and about my case? Why won't my attorney like the detective in my case stop putting words in my mouth? The detectives did not put words in your mouth. You talked and talked and talked and you told the world in the first few seconds when the detective arrived at the scene and said, hey, what's going on? You said George got into the suitcase and I thought it would be funny to zip him up. So those words came out of your mouth, Sarah, not the detectives. Okay. And then you also said in the video that's what you get for everything you've ever done to me. 
That's what you get. Stupid F you. That's what you said to George when he was struggling to breathe. So nobody's putting words in your mouth. Face the facts. Face the facts. Um, uh, why? Why? What else? Why won't my attorney tell me what's going on in my case? It's been very well over 100 days. She has been my attorney and I still do not know ongoing five years. Why won't my attorney answer any of my questions? Why won't my attorney ever ask me any question? Because you're on suffer a piece of... Ah, why won't my attorney, how can she supposedly know everything she needs to know from what she's been told, heard, read, and seen? Why won't my attorney reassure they're on my side for me, not against? <sighs> the attorney is going to do the best the attorney can do with an impossible situation, right? They are there to protect your rights, to try to put the best defense forward, but you don't help because you kind of like confess to the crime and also like there's a video of you like killing the victim so maybe the attorney doesn't really have anything to work with sarah uh why will my attorney okay why have i already been okay so this is still under the why will my attorney but I guess she's asking different questions here. So why have I already been judged in the court of public opinion? How did that happen? Well, you recorded the murder. So that's what you get in the internet. Uh, days that we live, we live in a day where everything is readily available. Everything is being recorded. Everything we say, everything we write, there is a record of it. There is a record of it, guys. So be smart. First of all, don't commit crimes, you know? But if you're going to commit crimes, just know there probably is a video and a recording and a text message and an email and something of you Googling, like, how do I commit a crime.com? Things like that. And then we watch later for entertainment, the stupid decisions that these criminals make. And we have channels like this online and people are interested because you guys commit crimes and are stupid while doing it. So, you know, you're being judged by the public opinion, Sarah, because you recorded the video and then you told the detectives, I thought it would be funny. We were playing hide and seek. So I zipped him up, but like, I didn't do it on purpose. So can I go? I have, I have to drink like three bottles of wine later. No, that's not how it works. Okay. Uh, your honor. During our first introduction and my last withdrawal of court appointed attorney number seven, Hobson, you stated to me your uninvolvement with any of my letters I write. I am still going to write my letters as conduitly they are to the world where all my potential jurors are located. And this is the only way anyone, including yourself, knows the very necessary insight to my continued disadvantages, hindrances, impediments. So always three words, right? I am still experiencing on top of the new, spurring my intentions to write. The race to the pulpit is unfair, and it is important to me that you, you, for instance, are aware and understand what transpires when the news cameras are off and we're all in between my status hearings. So I don't think she understands what this means <laughs> because she says my status re hearings or you. <laughs> uh, <gasps> this is hilarious. I, I had never read these letters. I know. I know it's been a long time. You guys all have read these letters, but I'm just... <sighs> Two, as so many of the advantageous embezzlers, racketeers, mindless lemons, and just altogether mean people can use their freedom of speech not knowing me in any way other than what's being said by all the other mean people and being said incredibly incorrectly 
So can I. Okay. We, the ones with the freedom of speech, we are not watching what the other news are saying about you. We, we're not basing our opinions on that only. We're basing our opinions on your statements and your interviews to the detectives and your body footage camera and uh, also what you write on these letters. So unfortunately, you have a uh, warped image of yourself and maybe you should take a look at yourself just like, you know, we all do. I'm not, I'm not saying I don't have to take a look at myself, but Sarah, when there, there's a whole world telling you, you should have taken the plea. You are narcissistic. You are not that great of a mother because you drink and you forget to pick up your kid. Uh, maybe you should be like, wait, is the whole world wrong or am I wrong? Is it possible that I'm wrong? And then you take a look at yourself. And you improve and you become a better human being, okay? No matter what circumstances you are in. So people are not just look the mean people are not just looking at what the other news are talking about. Okay, hold on. Let me just make myself on the other side here. Okay, we are here at this as the compelling annoyed detectives in my case. Uh, I don't know what this means. Had to falsify documents and uh, low whatever or his gun for me to see. I am sure you are familiar with after watching all my plastered, highly misconstrued, <gasps> over 30 million views just on one side interviews under parentheses uh, under this again and in which they both repeatedly attempted to feed me their incorrect incomplete hypothesized opinion by stating to me everyone has their limits at the seemingly endless points of perpetuality of nonsense and lawlessness still growing and I very much want to advance to the next level. After ongoing five years now, a genuine concern limit has been reached. Why am I still not being included in my case? How much more of my case and self is being added hourly, especially after this letter gets loose to the internet, increasing the mass infection and destruction of my hopes to have a fair trial? Anything fair? My side foremost and wondering now if my attorneys drank the punch like everyone else. Everyone. Everyone is wrong. Everyone is against Sarah. Everyone except for her can see the truth that she is a great, outstanding, fantastic human being. So here is her opinion of herself, right? I excel at everything, and I always know what to do and how to do it. I don't think you all understand who I am. I mean, I've always been a straight-A student. So, is the texting thing something about me? Like about me? Is it about me? Like me, 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 me? I don't think you all understand who I am. Where This is like practicing for an opera. Me, 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 me. I mean, no. No, Sarah. Not, the whole world is not wrong. Okay, let me make this. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, all aforementioned reasons, and so I think she just has like a big, like a dictionary this thick over there, and she goes and she picks words, and then she just, I mean, she uses them pretty correctly most of the times, but she adds so many words. To, oh, that's not. She adds so many words to say the same thing that it's like scary, scary lady. Okay, let's see. Make myself smaller. All the aforementioned, all aforementioned reasons, and so many more for this letter to be written, hoping to deter some of the unfair, unsighted, anger pointing of corruption and malpractice being directed at me. You don't know who I am. 
you don't know who I am. Only by those in the justice system who want trying to deflect the shame and shock from me, fearlessly challenge you the status quo. Oh, she is fearlessly challenging the status quo and it must be so. And this has all like little dashes and it must be so because it's in my face on the computer at the same time on my boob tube boob tube television okay so the dashes are done so now we go back to the comma television brainwashed ignorant followers of disbelief conformity and greed trying unsuccessfully to make my life by character assassination seem worse than theirs okay so wait a second i think that's us i think that's that's us guys uh brainwashed and ignorant followers of disbelief so what Sarah's saying here is that when I watch the video of her killing uh, George and laughing about it, that I am an ignorant follower of this belief. That's what she's calling us. Conformity and greed, trying unsuccessfully to make her life by character assassination seem worse than my life. Uh, no two when anyone points their finger one it's impolite <laughs> and two three point back at you actually it's four pointing back how many tried it to see put the stone down as there will be no casting of anything today except maybe for the role of my parts for all the pre-conclusioned documentaries and crystal ball read life starters of true crime incorrectly formulated from anyone supposedly knowing me and judging who they think i am what really happened and is going to future futuristically <laughs> remember three point back <laughs> she's so freaking dramatic oh my goodness i i think this is fantastic Sooth saying is not a real, I don't know what that is. Sooth saying is not a real job. To sum it up, in the words of my attorney, in the words of my attorney, after I told her to Google me, she stated, there's a lot. There's a lot. Okay. Let's Google, let's Google Sarah Boone and just see what comes up because she's I'm obviously saying everybody's wrong, right? suitcase murder how did george get in the suitcase why is sarah boone important oh that's another one <laughs> uh killing of george torres pre-trial motions i didn't mean to leave boyfriend in the suitcase uh here are some of her mug shots her sarah boone news update um yeah i mean it's it's all, all about the murder sarah it's not about you being an outstanding mother or or you know you don't know who i am this is who you are today to the world unfortunately we are you know there's a phrase i like a lot i always thought that i was being judged by my intentions while the world was judging me by my actions so it's very important to remember, right? It's just like faith without works is dead. People will judge people by their actions, by their behavior, by their attitudes. So it's very easy to say, oh, I'm such a great person. I have such a great heart. I, my intentions are good. Yeah, but you know what? Intentions don't really mean anything. When you put your time, your efforts, your money to work, to help somebody else, that's when it means something. And in her case, by being a mother, a mother, <laughs> my accent came out really bad right now. A mother, a mother and having to show up every day, having to have that consistency, to be dependable, to be responsible, to be sober, you know, that is something that it's crucial when you are parents. I'm not a parent, but I'm responsible for Whisper, my beautiful, beautiful dog. He's somewhere. And I know I have responsibilities. He needs to be exercised. He needs to be fed. He needs to be taken to the vet. I need to make sure my schedule that it, it revolves around his needs as well. You know, so I know it's not a comparison to compare my pet with kids, but 
you can just be drinking every day and just, you know, give yourself to alcoholism and be unreliable and, and, and not dependable. And then expect the world to look at you by your intentions because you have a good heart, because you have good intentions or whatever the case may be in her mind. Now, just a reminder, uh, alcoholism is the, a disease. So if anybody's watching this and you're struggling with alcohol addiction, you're drinking way more than you wanted to, drinking is becoming a necessity in your life. It's keeping you from being uh, the parent you want to be, the daughter you want to be, the, the person you want to be. Go, go seek help. Go to an AA meeting. Go seek help. There's a lot of things online. You can listen to AA online. You can go to a meeting. You can ask for help because you don't need to keep living like that, but you need help. You can't just do it by yourself. Okay. So in her case, that's the problem. The problem is she has not gotten to a point where she admits something's wrong with her. She's still viewing everybody else is against her. She's being a victim of an unfair, <laughs> victim unfair situation where nobody sees her for who she truly uh, for who she believes she truly is who she believes she is right we are watching her by her actions and this is uh crazy that she has written a 58 handwritten letter to the judge so Let's just do a few more pages here and we will continue another day. So to sum it up in the world, in the words of myself. Now, let me quote somebody here. Who are you going to quote? I'm going to quote myself. Okay. In the words of Bianca MMM, <laughs> in the words of myself, the defendant stated to my attorney after she stated that to me, when can I see? She wants to see the Google search. How much longer do I have to wait? Or how many attorneys must be withdrawn for me to be included in my case and be included more than the world presently is? So I think she wants to be like watching true crime documentaries and channels. And that's not a privilege you get in prison when you kill somebody, unfortunately. This is my case in every aspect. See all my aforementioned ongoing five years questions. I am still waiting on for answers. Also, I want to make it known I walked out of my attorney in our last meeting due to her unwarranted, uninf okay, here we go with the threes, right? Let's see how many. Unwarranted, uninformative, unprofessional, snotty attitude and her untruthful answers to my questions and beyond. So there are questions and beyond questions. The retarded vicious cycle we enter every time we need is a waste of time and i'm saying that being in jail we suppose endless amount of how she treats me is extremely prejudiced hostile and uncon unconcerted she can never just say it's hostile or it's disrespectful she has to say three things it's this this and that um Okay, let's see. Where did I go? Where did I go? Right there. Uh, she's very frustrating. Underlined. One, to back or defeat in an endeavor. Oh, I think those are the means. Two, to induce feelings of insecurity, discourage, dissatisfaction. Three, to bring to nothing. Is this, let me see here. Fresh trading definition is that what sarah did i think so so she kind of like looked at some of the definitions in the dictionary because she has probably a huge dictionary there not on google and that's what she called her attorney at the time so much I presented my solution in order to coexist with and work together in a hopeful three things or four things, hopeful, progressive, positive, appropriate manner. I had a pretend judge to our interaction. <laughs> I added a pretend judge. Hi, attorney. Uh, thanks for being here. Let's play a little game. Okay. I know we can't play hide and seek, but we're going to play. There's a pretend judge so that you can act accordingly. 
uh, I added a pretend judge to our interaction so she could calm down and ease up on her condensation, condescension, offensive demeanor and obvious prejudgment. She seems like everyone else not to remember. I am innocent until I judged otherwise. She treats me as if I am not. Well, because there's video, so it's really hard to like ignore that. Uh, so with that, I'm going to pause here because uh, Sarah gives me a headache, but I wanted to make this video because uh, I'm usually very defense prone, okay? Automatically, I think that there's a lot of injustice. I think they, they up charges very easily and people go to prison. And I'm usually just prone to pro defense, okay? But in this case, obviously i can't uh be pro defense because there's so much uh obvious evidence against sarah there's video literally she already confessed that she did what she did uh she's laughing about it she's been cruel so absolutely i believe she should be convicted but at the same time you know my heart is soft and sometimes i see the judge being a little rough and i'm like oh don't be rough judge you know you gotta you gotta be nice and then i wanted to go back into these letters to kind of refresh my memory of who i'm dealing with you know bianca don't feel sorry for sarah look who sarah is she is manipulative narcissistic like she does right manipulative narcissistic ag narcissistic aggressive condescending disrespectful and all of the things that she has been to all the people that have been involved in her case so i don't i don't have to feel sorry you know i i hope she one day can can change her attitude her awareness and she can try to become a better person because she still has a long time she's a young per a young woman younger like you know and she has she has a son and hopefully one day she can change but some people when they have uh, uh when they're in a cluster b uh and certain types of personality disorders they do not have the ability to change because it's a brain defect on the amygdala the, those will be the you know the psychopaths the sociopaths uh the people with narcissistic personality disorder is very hard for them to change it's almost like hopeless but there are other personality disorders such as borderline histrionic where people can get treatment you know a lot of treatment a lot of therapy but they have to really want to change it's a lot of work it's always a lot of work to change but it's always worth it to become a better person to those around you so with that being said uh we'll be here for the trial boon uh trial for the trial boon for the sarah boon trial and i hope that you are here with us so have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time.